the ping pong ball reactor and there's the ping pong ball set up in its stand you have the vacuum line once again but this time you have the turbo molecular pump is turned on and is getting up to its it's just now maxed out to its maximum and it's pulling down the vacuum gradually here we're down to 77 microns now well, we're just going to see what happens with the ping pong ball will it implode Stay tuned for the next episode. Okay, never before attempted. This is the uh, second test of the ping pong ball reactor core. And here we have the ping pong ball. Somewhere around 14 to 16. Approximate vacuum inside of our ping pong ball vacuum chamber. Now, what I'm going to do is I've got it hooked up to a high voltage uh, power supply from a plasma ball and we're going to see if we can make the ping pong ball ionize its gases and light up. What do you think? Turn off the lights, see what happens. Okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Great. If I touch the ping pong ball, you've got some of the hoses lit up as well. And you can barely see, I can see the ping pong ball quite well, but it doesn't show up in the camera very well until I touch it. And I touch it and ouch! <laughs> got zapped. I get zapped by the brass fitting underneath, even though there's a hose connecting, a rubber hose, plastic hose connecting the sphere with the uh, high voltage I still managed to get. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Uh-oh, things are dying down. I'm going to see what's going on here.